are, quote, equally diverse and hugely accomplished in their particular disciplines. Peter's novel Jaws propelled us into a life of ocean adventure and learning, and there was a magical, I'm sorry, magical encounter with a huge manta ray in the Sea of Cortez in the early 1980s. That sparked a powerful emotional connection for Peter and me with the ocean. The manta was tangled in a fishing line, and although its flesh was torn, it stayed very still as Michelle Hall pulled the line out of the flesh. The manta remained with the boat for three days, giving everyone rides. It was an extraordinary encounter. Peter was so exhilarated by the experience that he come, came home and wrote The Girl of the Sea of Cortez in just a few months. As he said, it altered forever my perception of animals, humans, the sea, and the interconnectedness of everything on earth. It altered me, too. We went on to be partners in environmental and ocean conservation work for many years. Peter wrote articles and made movies for the National Geographic, for ABC Sports, the New England Aquarium, the Moat Marine Laboratory. And I worked and continue to work on policy with Environmental Defense Fund, Wild Aid, Shark Savers, and Blue Frontier, of course. Peter and I saw, as I know so many of you have over the years, the damage being done to the ocean and its inhabitants. And we knew it would take thousands of people working in many different disciplines to stem the tide of destruction. Peter would be thrilled to know that these awards exist in his name to celebrate and support and thank those who have worked with such passion, patience, and originality, and have excelled in a vital area of marine conservation. So thank you very much for being here to celebrate the awardees tonight. We're going to roll. So 
we confront the tragedies happening on our ocean commons today from industrial overfishing to uh, oil, chemical, plastic, and, uh, and, and nutrient pollution to the coastal sprawl that's destroying the habitats we need for restoration, and on top of all that, fossil fuel-fired climate change. And it would be easy to despair, but I, I find it more frustrating than despairing because we know what the solutions are and what we need is the political will to enact them. And today we've sort of reversed motions. We've, we've gone up on the hill to create that political will. We've had the largest constituent presence from 20 states, over 100 people, to tell our elected officials that it matters, oceans matters, and we want healthy oceans and coasts and the communities that depend on them. And we expect them to restore the blue in our red, white, and blue, and our blue marble beyond. And we can point to the solutions because that's what we celebrate tonight. The people who are providing the solutions, the people we honor. You know, in 2004, Peter Benchley he noted our first Blue Vision Summit, and among the awardees were, were uh, Derry Bennett, an activist, seaweed activist from New Jersey, and uh, Ram Myers, a leading marine scientist. And, and several years ago, we lost Christopher Benchley, who was a young man in his 20s who was following his parents into exploration and discovery of the oceans. And those who've crossed the bar, we honor by providing the solutions and the opportunities. And we honor our ocean heroes tonight, and we believe that we've got the models. All we need to do is scale them up to the national and global level, which is what we're doing on the Hill today. And now we're back here to celebrate what we know works. And who better to lead that celebration than her deepness? I, I could, you know, I, I started out with, uh, you know, with Lloyd Bridges, who is Mike Nelson, underwater investigator in, uh, in Sea Hunt. And then a few years later, we got, uh, you know, Jacques Cousteau. And then I heard of, of these, you know, aquanauts living underwater. And, and then they had the first uh, group of, of female aquanauts who the media labeled aqua babes. And leading them was a scientist who went on to become an advocate and an ocean champion and, and uh, win a lot of records for deep diving. And, uh, and we just know her as our friend and her deepness, Sylvia Earle.